Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to give a quick update on how it's going with my Epson XP 15,000 that I have converted into a DTF printer. Um, so you're definitely going to want to watch this video before you get started with yours. Before we jump into this video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers who have been tuning into the channel and watching how we grow this thing out. I also want to say thank you for the new people who are tuning in and watching the videos and liking what you see. I want to say thank you as well. I do ask that you guys go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button if you are not a subscriber yet and hit the notification bell so that you can continue to get updates and things like that um, and what we do on this channel. Well, what I do on this channel. I also just want to introduce myself to the new ones who have not seen me or any of my videos. My name is Ashley. I am an entrepreneur. I am a mom. I am a wife. I am a crafter. I am a multitasker. I do a lot of things. And as my husband tells me, I am the jack of all trades. I can't stick to one thing. So I'm pretty sure you can notice that as we go throughout this channel and do different ventures. I also show people how to craft. We started out doing the DTF hack. Then we started doing the actual official DTF. And this is the journey that we are on now. And so this is why you guys are getting an update on what I am currently doing. I do want to apologize if it does not look like I'm looking at the camera. And that is because I am doing the front face view instead of the rear face. So that is why. And you will see why in a second. So let's just jump right in. This video won't be long. It's going to be a quick one just so I can give you a heads up and an update on what we're doing. So as you can see from this video, I do have two printers here. This printer is the one I started out with the conversion. I must say that um, this did not work out for me. And it only did not work out for me because when I continue to do my cleanings, um, cleaning the print, print head and things like that, I did mess the... I messed this part up right here. I want to say I either got like some type of fluid or something or ink or something like beyond the surface because now I am getting a error message and my printer will not print. It won't go past the error message. It won't do anything. So if you guys have the XP 15,000 and you convert it into a DTF printer, you do want to stay away from this area right here when you are doing your um, cleanings and you are cleaning out the um, the carts right here. When you're cleaning those or doing like the cleaning underneath, you want to try to either layer this as much as you can or clean up in this area because here is where the... Um, important stuff is at like the I think they call it like a motherboard or something it's here so you want to be careful when having uh liquids in this area so now I can no longer use this printer I probably could change that motherboard out but I don't know how and I don't want to mess it up any more than what I already did and I don't want to pay so much money to get a replacement and then it still not come out right. So I'd rather just go ahead and replace it and do the next best thing. So this printer here is no longer working. However, I did go ahead and get the Epson 8550. And I have converted this to a DTF printer. So I did go ahead and remove the rollers out of the 8550. And I did not record um, me doing this one because from a lot of videos that I seen, 
it was a little complex to do this. So I did not want to run the risk of trying to rush through the video getting this out. So, but there are videos out there that show you how to remove this. I do have one video that I do recommend that I will try to put the link in the comments for. Um, his video was amazing. It was straightforward and he showed me exactly what to do to get this out. Some people do make this more complex than what it is, but more so the only thing is, is trying to actually get this out. And it's not the same process as the one here. It sort of is a more simpler process when messing with the printers. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on how it is going now. And again, I'm sorry to see this go, but it's nothing I can do with it. So I've got to get rid of it. I do want to point something out though, because a lot of there's a lot of controversy with the Epson 8550 in reference to it being hard to shake this because you know you got to shake the white in order for you to um, keep that white unclogged and whatnot. To avoid this right here getting cloggage, all you have to do is get a SIS system, C I S S. You want to create a cyst system, which means your ink that belongs in here will sit outside of your printer. And that way it's more accessible when it comes to shaking your ink and things like that. So it won't be these cartridges here, but I'll um, also try to uh, insert a picture so you can you guys can see what the cyst system looks like. But that is the way around having to not be able to shake your white. And then other than that, that would make, I guess this the ideal printer um, for DTF. So keep that in mind if you are going to convert this printer. I wish I would have just went directly to this printer. The only reason why I went to this printer because I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to um, the ink I wouldn't be able like because you can't shake the whole printer every time you need to shake the ink and that's what I was afraid of so um I end up getting this one instead but I wish I would have took this route here but we're here now and we're going to see how this one does so I will give you guys an update on that um once we get everything going and moving forward in case you guys don't know, this is what the inside of the XP8550 looks like. This is your print head right here. That is the um, docking station where your print head will sit. And there is underneath, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but underneath this silver thing, it's really hard to see there. The rollers sit under here. Um, so you actually have to take the nail out of this silver bar. It's really hard to see, but you have to take the nail out of that silver bar and you'll be able to lift the rollers up from underneath there. But again, it is videos out here that I can um, recommend for you guys so that you can see that. But again, this is what the inside looks like. Um, the guy that help me um well not help me but he made the video he actually um shows how to remove the rolling tray that is in here he shows you how to remove this because this right here when you go to do your printing and that film prints out that dip that's right here is going to cause your ink to smear so you do want to remove this um tray out so that way you can build your own loading tray when your film prints out i have not done that yet i will be doing that as well um there's a lot more to this printer but again i haven't really set anything up my biggest thing is i wanted to get the rollers out because i was afraid that that was going to be a challenge for me um so i'll keep you guys updated on this printer and show you um, furthermore what I do with it. I am waiting on my SIS system. I did already order one. 
So that won't be here until like the mid November. So I do have to wait for that to come. So if you are going to um, get a SIS system, just make sure you order it way in advance. Cause um, they, I want to say I had a hard time finding one. So the one I found was on Amazon. And again, it takes like two weeks to get to me. Um, so you want to be mindful of that. And also I have to order um, some more ink and cleaning solution. So I do need to take care of that as well. I'm probably going to put um, the cleaning solution in here and then have my ink for the SIS system. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I don't think as of right now, there's anything else that I have to tell you guys about this printer. Um, but I do look forward to um, working with this printer and seeing how it does. I do need to find a place where I can take my Epson XP 15,000 and let it sit for parts because it's nothing I can do with it and I don't want it to take up space. So, all right guys, until next time, that is the end of this video. Again, I just wanted to give you guys an update of how it's going. Alrighty, peace guys.